I'm standing in front of one of the coolest objects here at the Children's Museum. This is the real Liberty Bell 7. It's the second spacecraft that the United States ever sent into space. It was flown by Indiana astronaut Gus Grissom. But there's a lot of story behind this capsule. You know what's amazing is that we have anything left at all of dinosaurs. That day, July 21st, 1961, it went 115 miles up into space, flying from Cape Canaveral, and then hung out in space for a few minutes, came back down and landed in the ocean 150 miles away from Cape Canaveral. But that's just where the story starts. Everybody's interested in them, especially kids. And I get to work with not only children on a day-to-day -day basis, but the fossils of dinosaurs. When the capsule landed, the hatch blew unexpectedly, and Gus had to escape the capsule quickly as it started to sink under the water. Even though the marine helicopter tried to pull it out of the ocean, it was too heavy as it filled up with water. They had to cut it loose, and it sank three miles down to the bottom of the ocean. And, and that's a big thing, because every kid loves the thought of dinosaurs. They love movies, they love books, all that. I could tell, tell that story every day right here in our Space Object Theater. But a lot of people don't understand how we know what we know about dinosaurs. By studying fossils like these, things that should never have existed. Or I get to tell kids and families all about this incredible object, the man who flew it, and the harrowing, harrowing adventure of uh, how it yeah, came here to the Children's Museum of Indianapolis. Like, imagine the fluke of something like that dying and its remains sitting in the earth long enough that it became a fossil. One of my favorite parts of telling this story is seeing kids and families out here in the Space Object Theater and hearing them react to the story. They don't know what's going to happen. And sat there for millions of years and then erosion uncovered it and somebody found it and was able to prep it in such a state that we can still study it? Gus is bobbing in the water, and then once the helicopter pulls him out, there's a swell of music, and I've heard kids applaud because they're so excited. They're so invested in hearing this story. That alone is mind-blowing, and for a lot of people, this is that place where that moment happens, where they get that. And then, of course, afterwards, as uh, they exit, I'll hear older adults say, I remember when all this happened, and it's so incredible that this is here, and you get to tell this story. And um, it's exciting to hear their stories as well. To be a part of that on a daily basis is a privilege.